In the meantime, new details tonight and the deadly Edgewater stabbing. Instagram model Courtney Clenny has been charged with murder. This is video of her and the victim, Christian Abumseli, getting into a heated argument inside of an elevator. This happened months before the deadly stabbing. Miami State's attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle announcing the criminal charges today against Clenny. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer joins us live from Miami and Ashley Clenny about to appear before the judge, correct? Jim, she'll appear in front of a Honolulu judge at 7.30. That's just about an hour and a half from right now. And we will have cameras in the courtroom when that happens. Now, Clenny told police when she stabbed her boyfriend, she was acting in self-defense. But the state attorney's office says after months of investigating, their evidence says otherwise. Key evidence, this video showing a shocking glimpse inside Courtney Clenny and Christian Obumselli's tumultuous relationship. We're learning domestic violence was a constant in the couple's relationship. The defendant had a history of being the aggressor throughout the relationship. According to this arrest warrant, one Parisio security documented so many incidents of arguing, including complaints from tenants two floors above, that the building's management was moving towards legal action to evict the couple. Extremely tempestuous and combative relationship. The arrest warrant says April 3rd started off peacefully with the couple playing with their dog. Christian left the apartment at 1.15 p.m and returned about three hours later. At 4.33, Clenny calls Christian just as he's walking into the apartment. About 10 minutes later, Clenny calls her mom. That call lasts for just about six minutes until she calls her again at 4.49. The state attorney's office believes Clenny's mother may have been on the phone when the stabbing happened. At 4.57, Clenny called 911. On that 9-11 call, Christian, can be heard in the background repeatedly saying that he was dying. Defendant Clady is also heard saying, I'm so sorry, baby. According to reports, when officers arrived, Clenny was covered in blood, cradling Obumseli. She claimed she threw a knife at him from 10 feet away, but a graphic description from the medical examiner's office revealed Obumseli suffered from a knife wound three inches deep, the type of wound, they say, caused by forceful pressure. We always believed that with a thorough and fair investigation that this day would come into reality. This is such a relief for the family, but it gives restored hope that even though delayed, justice will still come. Again, Clenny expected to appear in front of a judge in Honolulu at 730. We'll bring you the very latest from that courtroom appearance, both on air and online. Live in downtown Miami, Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News.